Hey everyone, this is Walter from Tilta and this is the quick start guide to the Nucleus M3 motor setup. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sync a three motor setup to your controllers and how to do all the initial checks to make sure you're up and running and ready for the first shot. If you're familiar with wireless follow focus systems and especially the multi-channel systems, uh, this should be pretty easy for you. So I'm gonna go at a pretty quick pace on how to set all the motors up. If you need a more detailed setup, please refer back to the two channel motor setup. Uh, now that I have the battery attached to the camera, everything's powered up, I'm gonna start attaching my motors. My first motor. I'm gonna make sure to have the motor set up at a four or eight o'clock position on the lens. Right here on the sides, I set up my second motor here and my third motor over here on the side. The next thing I need to do is run power to them. So I have my PTAP 7 pin cable here that I'm gonna to connect to the battery PTAP out. And I'm gonna to connect to my first seven pin port here. And I'm gonna tuck that cable over here in the back. Second cable I'm gonna go with is the seven to seven pin from my first motor to my second motor. Third cable I'm gonna connect is the longer seven to seven pin to get from one side of the lens to the other. And to power on the system, I'm gonna hold down power on any of the motors. So once you hold it down for a little bit, you're gonna see all the motors start. Uh, by default, they're on a manual calibration mode, so they're not gonna automatically calibrate once you power them on. So this gives us an opportunity to make sure all our parameters are set. So I'm gonna check my LoRa, my channel, and my motor number. So first thing I'm gonna check is my LoRa. So I wanna make sure each of the motors are set to high, which is indicated by the H. So here we're set to high, here we're set to high, and high. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure the LoRa is the same for my controllers. So let's turn on the hand unit, holding down the power button, you'll see that it's already set to H here. It's on high. Over here on the handles, let's hold down the record button to power them on. Here on the side, you can see it's set to high. On my left handle, it's set to high. Okay, so that should be set. Next thing I wanna check is my channel number. So let's make sure that all three motors are set to different channels. So we have here on my focus, channel 14, on my zoom, channel 15, and on my iris, I'm set to channel 12. This is good, but I wanna change it a little bit just to get them a little bit closer to each other. So I'm gonna change my iris to channel 13. Okay, so that's set. Now I wanna make sure my controllers are set to different channels corresponding to the channels on the motors. So here I'm set to channel 13, which corresponds to my iris motor. I want my handles to be set to two different channels. And our available channels would be 14 and 15. So my left handle is set to 15, which means my right channel should be set to 14. Right now it's set to double zero, so I'm gonna go into the menu system by double clicking menu. Go into channel, double click menu, and then I'm gonna go down and find channel 14. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna press record to get me out to my home menu. Next thing I wanna check is the motor number. So. Here we have motor three on the zoom, motor two on the focus, and motor one on the iris. So I'm gonna make sure that all three channels are corresponding to my fizz. Here on the front display, you can see that your FIZ is set to a different channel. Right now my focus is not set to anything, so I'm gonna go into the menu system by clicking menu, going to motor, enter, focus, sync, and I'm gonna sync that to motor two, which is my focus motor here. Enter, back to menu to get me out to the home page. And as you can see, focus is set to two, iris is set to one, zoom is set to three. Here on my handles, I'm gonna double check again, making sure that my focus, which is motor two, is set to my front knob here. Zoom, which is set to motor three, is set on my zoom toggle here, and then Iris is set to motor one, which is here on my left control knob. Okay, now that we have our parameters set, it's time to calibrate. I'm gonna calibrate from the hand unit. So I'm gonna hold down calibration, three seconds. You should feel a vibration and see the motors start calibrate. I have control of focus, iris, and zoom. Okay, now I'm gonna switch control over to the handles by double-clicking the function button. Now I'm gonna check my focus. Check iris. And I'm gonna check zoom. 
Okay, everything seems to be working. I'm gonna send control back to the hand unit. And now you're good to go. This has been the quick start guide to the Nucleus M3 motor setup. This is Walter from Tilta, and thanks for watching.